Heard that these talks have been going on essentially nonstop for the past few days, Saturday, Sunday, and uh, the two sides are meeting once again tonight, uh, all the way until midnight, that deadline. And as you said, if there is no deal that is reached tonight, well, the writers will go on strike uh, starting tomorrow. So uh, the two sides that we just mentioned, the Writers Guild of America, that covers 11 and a half thousand writers, people who write for uh, late night talk shows, daytime soap operas, primetime shows on uh, network television, and also for the, some of the big streaming giants. And on the other hand, you've got the Alliance of Motion Pictures and Television Producers. So this is what the uh, writers are asking for. Obviously, better pay. Uh, you said earlier in the newscast that, uh, you know, uh, inflation is a big story also here in the United States. Uh, price of cost of living has gone up. And so these writers uh, want to be paid better for the work that, they've, uh, that they do uh, essentially 24-7. They're also asking for streaming residuals. This is just financial compensation for writers who have worked on a show that is then uh, purchased by a streaming service, something that we've uh, seen increasingly happen over the past few years. They also want improved staffing. And also, this is something that we're hearing across many industries around the world, uh, some guarantees and safeguards against artificial intelligence. We've all seen those tweets, those articles of people asking uh, chat GPT to, uh, write a, to write a pitch, to write a scene of a, of a TV show uh, with uh, more or less success. Well, so these writers are very worried that this will be the future of, of the entertainment industry, that these uh, TV networks and entertainment uh, companies will now ask artificial intelligence to write these scripts for them. So, um, on the other hand, of course, as I mentioned, the uh, motion pictures and television producers uh, covering companies like uh, NBC Universal, Sony, Warner Brothers, Amazon, and they're really stuck between a rock and a hard place because uh, the metric by which uh, success in the entertainment in industry in Hollywood uh, is, is measured has changed drastically over the past few months, over the past year. Streaming giants, for example, uh, up until recently, the metrics of success was basically subscriber count. And now uh, uh, shareholders, investors, they're trying to see profit profitability uh, above and everything above everything else and so these companies really they want to cut costs they're having to uh, to, to go forward with uh, several layoffs but at the same time they want to continue uh, to work with these writers to produce the content that brings them this money in the first place